Let us now look at how definitions of literacy have evolved over time and based on those definitions, what literacy rates do we have for Pakistan? In 1951, literacy was defined as one who can read a clear print in any language. Now, look at the definition. In any language, doesn't matter whether it was English, Urdu, Punjabi, Sindhi, Balochi, Pashto, whatever the language was, could you read a simple print? Only read. Reading was the only thing that was considered good enough to be termed as being literate. So if an individual could do that, the individual was considered literate. And with that definition, in 1951, our literacy rate was 16.4%. Pretty low, very low. Let's see how we've moved based on that. Ten years later, in 1961, the definition changed slightly and it became one who is able to read with understanding a simple letter in any language. Now, two things were added. One was read with understanding. In the 1951 definition, it only said read. Whether you understood what you read was not important. But a decade later, in 1961, ability to read with understanding, and it's not now just any print. It is a simple letter in any language. In any language still holds. So this is important to consider that even 10 years down the line, they are not saying read in this language read in any language, and that is why mother tongue education becomes critical. Because why should our children learn a foreign language? Why should our children have to understand a foreign language instead of their own language? With that definition in 1961, the literacy rate in Pakistan was 16.3%. So more or less, we can say that in 1951 and in 1961, the rates were the same. Okay, 0.4 and 0.3 are not such a big difference. So whether they were reading with understanding or without understanding, the literacy rate still stayed more or less the same. 16.4, 16.3%. Not a great difference. 0.1 down 10 years later but it's with understanding, so we can give the benefit of the doubt and say it's okay, the literacy rate was constant at least over a 10-year period. Eleven years later, in 1972, the definition changed to one who is able to read and write in some language with understanding. So now it's not just reading. It is reading and writing, and it is in some language, again, any language, doesn't matter what the language is, but with understanding. Can you read something on your own, understand it on your own? Can you write something on your own, and somebody else reading it, can that other person understand what you've written? With that definition of literacy, the literacy rate in that year was 21.7%. So we improved roughly by about 5%, adding writing to the definition of literacy. So when we added the second literate skill of writing, our literacy percentage increased by about 5%. Not bad. I think it could be better. We could have worked and tried to improve that and make it better, but even with that 5% improvement, by suddenly in 11 years, adding another skill of writing to the definition of literacy makes it important. And then, nine years later in 1981, the definition changed to one who can read newspaper and write a simple letter. Who can read a newspaper and write a simple letter. But the, what did we lose? with understanding. With understanding now is not required. It could be, it doesn't have to be. So, 
reading a newspaper again in any language and writing a simple letter or an application or something like that and our literacy rate again improved by 5% to 26.2%. So if we look from 1951 to 1981, 30 year span, how much did we improve? We improved by 10%. That is poor. In 30 years, so every year we really improved 3.3%. That's not a good rate. How is that rate going to change? How will we do better in terms of our literate population? Depends on what we teachers do in our classrooms, not just with our students but also with our adult population because we have a large part of our adult population who has never been to school and is illiterate. And that population is also part of the group that forms the percentage for literacy. Unless the child population and the adult population both receive good quality literate education, these figures are not going to change drastically soon.